Speaking to County Island manager Brad Wellman following today's 13-0 win against Romford. Uh, Brad, a club record winning result there. What do you make of that one? Yeah, listen, it's, it's, it's a strange one. You know, Romford uh, have been relegated and it was coming into the game, it was potentially um, a slippery one for us, especially after the result last night. So there was a lot, of, felt like there was a bit of pressure on us to go and get the result. Um, and we started well, got an early goal, and I think that just then settles it. But I thought, um, I thought at times we was really, really good. Um, you know, you can only play what's in front of her. You know, they're, they're where they are for a reason over their, their games for the whole season. But I thought, um, I thought at times we was excellent. A number of their goals, you could, or a number of our goals, sorry, you could uh, point at issues why we scored those goals or how we were allowed to score them. But one thing that uh, would have gone in against any team in the world was Connor Hubble's free kick right into the top corner. Yeah, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, though, our movement was good for, for some of the goals. And I think that, you know, whilst their shape might have not been the best, I think that we, you've also got to give a bit of credit to our boys for the way we, we, we sort of dragged them about a little bit. Um, but yeah, Connor's free kick, I, he must have been 40 yards out. Um, I mean, we, as soon as he, he got given, we were standing on the sideline and sort of saying it's a bit too far out to shoot. But we was right behind it and it just dipped and curled and, and hit the top corner. But for those that have been watching all year, what's that, four or five of them Connor scored? We see it every week in training. I know last week before the game, he was hitting some and Pricey was telling me if we get a free kick. But the boys are talent from set pieces and... Uh, it, it just I, I think when we get a free kick it nothing surprises me now with him he just he just seems to it he's got that reverse into the far top corner and fair play to him it's an unbelievable strike the game was obviously won at half time how much was the goal difference part of your half time team talk yeah <clears throat> half time team talk definitely you know before the game you're just looking at three points um at half time when when you feel like the game settled it was it was more a case of um Make sure we keep a clean sheet, um, and and go and go and get as many goals as we can. You know, I mean, after um, last week's result and Averley winning five one, that was sort of a eight goal swing or whatever. There, um, you know, we needed to make up the goals, and and we've done that comfortably today. Um, not in any way what we could have imagined before the game, but we're, we're right back up there now. You know, it's still Averley's to lose. Uh, we just got to keep putting the pressure on, and you know, if we can go and win three games, and now they, if they to drop drop points for a draw, then hopefully we can uh, that goal difference will help us. But Avery have also got to go to Romford next week, so you don't know what that's going to bring. Uh, hopefully, Romford will uh, will keep them down a little bit, and 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 everything's there to play for, you know. And on to Great Way Cream on the next Saturday. Lots of familiar faces you'll be coming up against there. Yeah, it's always good to go there. I played there as a kid, you know, and when I was sort of 18, 19, and I love the club. It's, it's a good club to, to go back to with good people that have been involved for, for years, very similar to, to here at Canva, you know, and uh, obviously now um, Martin Tui has taken over with OC and people like Jordan Brown, Nutsy and them are in there. So yeah, it's always good to, to see them people and, and catch up with them, but we've got to go and get a result. Um, there's no time to be friends with them before the game, you know, maybe we'll enjoy a beer after the game, but we've got to go and get three points and just keep the pressure on and see where that takes us. Well, congratulations, Brad. Your name's etched into the history of the club, at least for the moment. 13-0, uh, well done. Yeah. Thanks, Glenn. Cheers, mate.